Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is like the ninth time I've done this intro. Uh, but today we are going to be doing a quick demo on the Crayola Twistables Slick Sticks. Now, if you've been with me for a while, y'all know I love these. They are very inexpensive. Um, I will explain all that in the video. But just as a little tip for y'all, uh, Michaels is having a 50 off today, 50% off. So they sell these. So if you're interested, just starting out, want to play with them, this is the time to go get them. Um, so what we did was we worked on white school glue, Mod Podge, white paint, and black paint, and then just plain paper to see how they worked. We worked on, la, 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 la. we worked on a ungessoed moleskin art journal page and then a gessoed and i just showed you a few things um i think these are really fantastic if like i said i i've used them a million times i've rebought them many times uh, and they're a great thing to replace your gelatos or uh what else is there i don't know ranger slick whatever sticks they have you know watercolor crayon kind of things uh neo color twos all those kind of things so if you're interested in watching and seeing what i did continue watching and if you just found me and you would like to be uh subscribed watch the video decide and subscribe at the end click that subscribe button down below that little bell to be notified when i upload and as always i love you guys so very much and enjoy my video and my dog barking probably bye Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we are doing a video for Betty and Betty wanted to know all about the Crayola Twistables. Now I have a couple of videos on this. However, they're probably a bit old and um, we're going to we're going to see what these Crayola Twistables can do. Now, as you know, there are uh, Corn Dinesh, I think that's how you say it, uh, watercolor crayons. There are gelatos, there are water-soluble oil pastels, there are watercolor markers. I mean, there's so many, so many. Reeves has a water-soluble uh, crayon. I mean, there's a lot, okay? Um, and then you have these, <laughs> which these are, I'm going to show you, this is an Emily's old Smashbox. Thing. Um, you can see this all comes in one package. You can get them at your local arts and crafts store, Walmart, that kind of whoever sells Crayola, and they are called uh Twistables Slick Stick. Now I've been talking about these things for years, but and I've went through a couple packages, and you see, you just roll it up and you get quite a bit of product. Especially because, I mean, I can still go, but I'm afraid it's going to break. So I'm going to take it down. But you can see, I mean, it's not bad. I'm going to just do this. My dog is running in and out. I shut the door. He decides he wants to go out. I open the door. He decides he wants to come in. So I don't know what he wants. But these come with gold. Gold. Oh, well, you can see that. I had to change my lighting yesterday because the light it's sunny out so let's see if this helps um this is the gold i mean you know and i'll do i'll swatch them and then you get obviously this is silver metallic and you get a black and white you'll get all black and white and you do get your roy g biv black white and then you get those two so you get red Come on, sing it with me, guys. Red, orange, yellow, green, two blues, a purple, and a brown. So y'all know, I always tell you guys, especially starting out, um, anything that you have to go buy, usually individually, like paints um, or that kind of thing. Oh, oh my gosh, my dog's now crawling all over the stuff in the behind of me. And it's not Spyro, it's Rocco. Anyway um when you go you always want to do your roy g biv black white so if you go and you see oh acrylic paints are on sale oh liquitex oh folk art oh whatever um and you need them and you're just starting out do your roy g biv black white red orange yellow green blue purple black white um and you can get a brown obviously you can make brown easily um and you know if you can get silver and, and gold why not you know if you can but if not Nah, it's all right. 
just get these because you can, you know, you can mix in different colors and match, you know, you can make pink and, and uh, deeper purple and just so many different colors um, just from these. How can you go wrong? Now, if I take this blue out, because you don't really need that blue because you have this blue, I mean, that's what you need. So that's all you have to really start out with. Okay, so enough of that talk. And I'm so in love with this. I just, I just want to scan it in and blow it up and print it out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, if you did not see this video, I will link it at the end of this video. There'll be a thumbnail to click. Um, but I love it. And it's like this new thing I've been trying. So I might be doing another one. But today we are going to play. Okay, so I have my moleskin art journal. I did not do anything here. I put my uh, gesso here, and this is just folk art gesso, surface prop, use whatever you have. But wait, there's more. I got Elmer's glue because y'all and Betty asked me about uh, using Elmer's glue uh, as a gesso primer, and I'm going to talk about that. Here is Mod Podge, which Mod Podge matte. You know, I'm in love with the Mod Podge. This is just white acrylic paint. And this is black acrylic paint. And then this is um, paper, uh, printer paper with nothing on it. So we are going to do the, we're going to test everything so you can see. Because don't comment if you don't agree with me. Move on. However, I have been a big, 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 I'm going to say a big word. I don't even know if it fits in. And maybe my daughter will hear me and tell me if I sound like a stupid jerk. But a big proponent, M. She has no idea. Let's pretend like that. Let's flow with it, shall we? Here we go. I'm a big proponent. Proponent. Okay. <sighs> I'm a big cheerleader for when you're starting out and you don't have, look, if you have money and you're starting out, go get yourself a uh, golden and liquid text. Go do it, girl, if that's what you want. Um, I look. I am using my white and black are Liquitex Basics. I have a humongous bag behind me or whatever it is, full of golden and Liquitex and Academy and I don't even know, System 3s and all kinds of stuff that I bought back in the day. Uh, a lot of stuff is ruined because I didn't use it because I was saving it. Um, but I have my golden Titan buff. I mean, there are things that I have, uh, you know, when I had money. That happened when I went on SSI, <laughs> my life changed. Um, and I went to folk art. Uh, and before I knew it, I worked with folk art for years and years. And now I'm on the plaid uh, ambassador team and I love it. So I do use a lot of their stuff. Um, but I think I might need to be using some of my other stuff too. Let's move on. A lot of talking. I know people are going to be like, you talk too much. I know. Okay. So let's start. We're going to do. Let's just do this. I'm going to go red, red. And we're only going to do one page at a time because it's going to be too much for me to do it all. Yellow. Yellow. I'm not going to do them all, obviously. I'll check, like, whatever I don't do here, I'll do on the yellow. Red, orange. Now you see, I put yellow next to red and I'll show you why, obviously when I'm done, but look how nice, even on no gesso, right? <sighs> Green. Oh, Ooh, baby. They're like chopsticks. Come on now. Let's do the light blue. Okay. So you see, oh my gosh, blue. Oh, light blue. I really loved because it's almost gone. And let's just write the word love just so you can see that you can write well but let me tell you make sure you roll them back down because uh if you leave it up like i've done sometimes and then you go and it's like oh the lid's not going on the lid's not going on oh yeah it did and then you're like why wouldn't it and then you open up and it's all smashed up there it can still be used but you know what i'm saying and then let's just do the silver and gold for the heck of it and i'll write that there i'll do this there we'll do this there and then I'll do gold on the under. Now I'm going in with a paintbrush. All right, I'm going to wash this paintbrush off. Okay. Going to dab it, but you do want them wet. So let's start up here. So 
this is on non just sewed so you're gonna see meh right because it's soaked in whatever oil is in it soaked into the paper now yellow is a butte look at that orange a little bit more water there not so much I'm trying to get as clean water as i can so you guys can see green you can get that cast off there but you see where you color you get and then silver and silver was okay but you can see that they're all you can still see where you scribbled now if we go on to the gessoed side watch and i'm gonna leave the water on there to dissolve it a little bit more but with this look at that nice color you got and you can see a little bit but really once that water gets on there you're not gonna see any of it look how pretty nice watercolor color right watercolor color and I'm going to go in for some yellow and make it go this way. And then we're going to do it in here and you can mix it. Even though you get an orange, it doesn't matter. If it does mix in your art journal, you get a nice color. Yellow's beautiful. Orange. And I'm putting a lot of water because I really want you guys to see. So obviously you don't have to put this much water. But I mean, look at that. And like I said, it will dissolve a little bit. And this is just Jessa, like I said. Let me take a little bit more water off and go and start in here. You can tell I'm a mixed media artist and not a watercolorist. <laughs> because, I mean, look. And these obviously are watercolor. But I mean, look how beautiful, right? I really got to get my other towel there. And then let's do the silver. I'm going right in where I laid it. And that's a little light, but it works and it's okay. Now you can go back and lay down more if you wish. I mean, it's a light color anyway, but. And then you can just keep layering. You see how that's coming up a little bit more, a little bit more? Can you see that? Eh, kind of. I'll lift it up in a minute. Now let's go back and see, you can kind of see this red has like purple in it. Do you see? And even though I'm going back and it's been sitting, it's taken a little of that color off. Can it work? Eh, I mean, for mixed media and you want to draw and write and, and you want those things to stay, um, and you did like on your canvas, for instance, or on your art journal, let's say you didn't just so or do anything, you know, this would be a great you know, thing to do because it's going to, it's going to stay in the background of your layers. Um, but I mean, you can see here, this does much better. Now, can you take this, put it on a nonstick mat or a, uh, what else? Parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you have, whatever you have. And then wet it and then go paint on here. Now look at that. What are we, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a purplish red looks like, or bluish red, but you see? So you can, and you can do that on here too. So think about when you use alcohol inks or something like that, and you maybe you have a uh, palette, right? Maybe you have, you can go to the dollar store, you can get them real cheap. Uh, maybe you wanna start putting, just cut a little chunk off of that, like you would do with a gelato, and put it in there, leave it dry. And then you can go in and kind of use it like your watercolor and you don't have to gesso. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, enough with that because I know everybody's going to be like, all right, you talk too much, girl. But you see, very nice, very easy to use. I'm going to bring it up here. It's kind of blowing out a little bit. Let's do it like this. And look, it's dripping. Okay. But you see, I mean, so delicious. So I'm going to put this over here to get it out of the way. Okay. Now, I also was asked about glue and printer paper because a lot of you, uh, you know, you don't have art journals or you're making them and you're using printer paper and you want to know if these work. And that's what Betty asked. So that's what I'm going to show you. So right here, I have white school glue. I have my uh, Mod Podge here, white, just white acrylic paint here and black acrylic paint. Because I thought, why not on black, right? Black and white acrylic paint. 
I'm going in. I'm going to do the test like I did before. Oh my gosh, my cats are fighting. I'm so sorry. Why are you still watching me? Ugh. All right. So let's do. Yeah. Now look what happened. It came out because I had it up too far and it's almost gone. So that doesn't help things. So, okay. We're going to, we're going to mark it just like the other. I'm going to mark everything while I have this out. You'll see it on there. And then just kind of put that back in there. Okay. And then this is purple. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Obviously not going to be able to see that real well. That's okay. Because we're going to apply with it anyway brown that's a pretty brown look at that you ain't gonna oh girl look at that you can see it let's do lighter colors we will do the gold the gold the gold the gold okay and then we're going to do some white because, <laughs> okay, white's not going to go there. White's not going to go. I'm like, okay, no, we're not. Look at this though, white. And you can write with it as well. Now this is just regular. You know what? Maybe I should put some on here too. Let me do that real quick. This is just regular undone paper, uh, printer paper. Oh, Kelly, uh, I'm not going to use that blue because, um, just you know and i figured i i should probably just do it on here too i might have even meant to do it on here and didn't but this is kind of like working with the um page in the art journal you know it's gonna soak in but we'll play all right that's all i'm gonna do there and then i'm gonna do black because i don't think i've done black anywhere black's a little a little harder Okay. Maybe because it just it won't melt everywhere, right? Okay. So there we go. And then we'll test right here. So I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna dry my brush. And we're going in blue. Uh that came right off. It didn't even suck in. This is the white school glue. Look at that. All right, let's see over here. This is the same thing with the Mod Podge. Ooh, we're in it. We're in it to win it. Because remember, Mod Podge does not have to just be for finalizing things. And what I mean by, like, when I did my paint, my charcoal yesterday, I sealed it with Mod Podge. So it doesn't just have to be, but that came right up. It's just a little sticky because it's a little dry there still. And then... It's still got water in my brush. Look at this on white paint. It is everything on all three of those on the top. Look at that. White paint. Mod Podge matte. Elmer's White School Glue. I don't like to say names, but. And then I'll try a little bit on there just so we can see it. I mean, it came up off the black paint. You really can't see it, though. I mean, you can, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? And then this is the paper the printer paper look at that beautiful wow what a difference than the journal i thought it was gonna get me but it didn't it did real good real good okay so now i'm going in for some purple blue is a g it's just delicious same with this purple look now i have a lot of water so i'm trying to just kind of move it around but look at that how pretty Look at that. This is the white paint. I mean, you get very pretty. I'll move my camera when I'm done. Um, did I do purple on here? I cannot see it if I did. Let's do a little bit there. I'm just going to kind of wipe it here to show you how you can. I mean, look at that. Look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. So let me tell you white school glue you have it use it use it mod podge use it let's go here 
And you don't, look, if you don't have these and you have something else, so what? Still use us. Use these methods. Don't leave them sit there because you think you can't. Especially mixed media artists. We, you know, oh, I'll tell you what, that white paint, though. <laughs> I love it. And then the black paint. I mean, yeah. That's pretty good for, you know. Let me put the, look at that. The camera rinse. Okay, and then gold. And they work just as well. Really pretty on the black. Might have to layer it a little bit more. That's just on the paper. It's a very light, like I said, you'd have to kind of build a little bit. And then let's go into the black. This is on white school glue, comes right up. Now, if you don't know, white school glue is like almost like acrylic paint in a way. See, it's a little wet still there from my glue. I'm not drying all the way, but that's all right. It might be like that here too, because there we go. Look at that. Look. That's on regular. I'm going to just wipe it another second. going to delay. I'm going to do it here. Yeah, look at that. And that's just your regular copy paper, printer paper. I call it printer paper. Some people call it copy. Look at that. Now let me just do this green one. I'll take everything off of here. And start in the middle where you uh, laid it down. Oh, it's mixing with the blue. Look at that. You're getting like a blue green. Now green isn't as... Uh, delicious as those ones it might be something in it but you know okay now let's go for the white i'm just going to take it all the way down very wet brush so you can see that it does uh lift the words off when you do it like this on these backgrounds because you know, it actually lifts. It's not soaking in anywhere. I'm going to take a little bit more and draw on it while it's wet. I mean, that's pretty cool. You can do that, right? Whatever color it would be, just this happens to be white on the black. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put something down here. Is there a color we didn't use? I don't know. Let's do purple because I want you guys to be able to see. I'm just putting it down on a somewhere where I can wet it, not stick. Got a damp brush going in. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to paint on regular paper. Works perfectly. I know it's kind of hard. I'll look it up. But you can paint. I mean, it does. It lifts right up. And goes on everything regular paper and everything so this is how this all looks i mean you can see it did real good this is nothing this is just regular printer paper this is black paint this is elmer's white school glue over here this is um mod podge here this is just white acrylic paint and let me show you over here just so you see it this is on my moleskin art journal page not touched now this is after it's already diluted on something like on a non-stick mat uh this is me scribbling it on obviously you watch the video and then this is um gessoed so Oh, I got some orange on that. I sealed this. See, now I'm wetting it, and that orange is going everywhere because I got that Mod Podge seal, so I can get that right off if I want to. Um, but yeah, I just sealed that with Mod Podge. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry these two sections just very quickly to see if we can re wet them.
Okay. And I'm gonna do this and this. All right, so let's, yep. You can re-wet there. That's on the white school glue. You can re-wet on your uh, Mod Podge. You can, look at that, you can re-wet there. You can re-wet a little bit there. And you can re-wet on your black. And the last thing I want to do is I want to see if I can build this gold up now that it's dry. I'm going to go on top of more. This might have to be something that we do this with. And kind of go in with the water. I can see the mica or whatever they use. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better. But yeah, you can definitely put on top to, you know, build it and build it and build it. So... These are the Crayola twist, uh, twist, what are they called? Twistable slick sticks. Gosh, Kelly, these are like my fifth pair. Um, so let me move this out the way and see if I can get it a little bit better. And they worked out really, really good. So you go to your Michaels and you use your 50% off coupon today, which is, it is 50% off today at the Michaels. I got the coupon. I'm not going, but I got the coupon and Go get yourself some Crayola uh, Slick Sticks if you're just starting out, right? And then these, look at this. So I love this. And look, if you don't want to gesso, you don't have gesso, you don't want to put white paint, whatever it may be, paint on something. And that, you know, like put it down, wet it, and then paint if you want. But I love these. And I hope you guys too do too. So if you have them, let me know down below. Uh, and let me know what you, you know, how you use them, how, you, what you think about them. Uh, and if you would, you know, I don't know, sometimes maybe like a giveaway on something or something, let me know about it. But like I said, today is a 50% off at Michael's. I get nothing for it. It's not, Michael's isn't paying me. They ain't asked me to do it or say it. I just saw it on my email. So they sell these. So 50% off, you could probably get them for about four or five bucks. Uh, if not probably closer to four anyway. I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it, and leave me a comment, and let me know, like I said, about these uh, twistables, and let me know maybe a cheap uh, item that you like to use for other people to read, because there's so many new people on my channel uh, that have found me that are starting out, so I love giving them great tips, and as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And remember, for those of you starting out, white paint, black paint, you're all good. So I love you guys. We're talking progress, not perfection. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.